Out of all my fights, I've been nervous the most for this today. We prepared so much for it. We put a lot of time, put a lot of effort into it. That's why the nerves are a little higher, but it's good. It makes you perform. Five, four, three, two, one. So we are just wrapping up the San Francisco Marathon. We finished early this morning and man, was it a great experience. In this video, I definitely want to give a full insight into the marathon. So whoever wants to run it and is looking for more information, how it all goes down from the start to the end and a couple tips on how to run it. What I found success with in my training that translated well was running this marathon where I was able to PR again and finish the marathon super strong. So here is a pro tip. We actually ended up booking a hotel close to the starting line. And the starting line, and a lot of marathons aren't like this, but the starting line and finish line are actually in the same spot. So it worked out beautifully. My wife came with us on this trip and she actually came down to the starting line with us. Just popped up out of bed, watched us take off on for that first mile and was here of course for that last mile so pro tip if you can try to book early and book a hotel room that is near the finish line there's a lot of great hotels book a hotel by the finish line the marathon is super early it starts at 5 15 a.m and i believe this time around they had a six hour cut off time for it so that 5 15 a.m start time Again, you want that close hotel room to it so you could wake up. We actually booked a hotel room at the one hotel and that's where they did the VIP experience as well. So we were able to wake up, get a good cup of coffee, get some fruit in us, get some electrolytes in us, carb up a little bit. And really it was a seamless transition right into the start line. And weather was actually perfect, perfect running weather. A little chilly in the morning. Sweating. Right on pace, heart rate's low too. A little windy when it gets to the bridge and I'll talk about that a little more later but the sun didn't start coming out until about the end of the marathon about 8 30 a.m 9 a.m when we started to finish the sun started to come out but again you get a nice little breeze still it's about 65 70 degrees perfect running weather and that helps significantly and it makes up for the amount of elevation that you gain in this course so let's talk about the course the course was incredible actually it was very challenging um, it was very technical um, but if you come prepared for it you will be able to conquer it people talk about san francisco the hills let's talk about those so the biggest hills you're going to experience going up towards the Golden Gate Bridge, running across it and going back up it to run back. Those were the two biggest hills. I want to say, and don't quote me on this, but it was mile seven and I believe mile 14 or 15. And if you integrate good proper hill training once a week in your marathon training block, like I did, I included it. I normally do two speed workouts a week. I just made one speed workout emphasize a little more hills. You'll be able to tackle them a little easier. Actually, the hills that got me were towards the end because the big hills that you experience in the beginning of the race come with same amount of downhill to follow up so you can really make up for your time on the downhills but towards the end of the race you hit these smaller to more moderate hills with less downhill after them so again do your hill training and you're going to be all right and be able to finish strong something i highly recommend with this marathon as well is to come out a little easier than you normally do i wanted to originally run at an 8.30 pace. I'm so glad I didn't. My coach advised me to start at an 8.45 pace and to pick it up at mile 18. Normally, I would have ran the first 10 miles at an 8.45, the second 10 miles at an 8.30, and then really start to negative split that final 10K. And I am glad I did it because I don't think I would have been able to finish that strong that final mile, especially that final Point two at the end, I was able to take it down to the high sevens. So I had a lot of legs left and was able to really empty out the tank towards the end. Yeah, we're good, guys. That's a couple miles. 
1.5. I believe the only real struggle I was starting to feel it at mile 23, where I was like, okay, I'm kind of over these hills. I'm ready to have this race done. But again, it was bearable. It was doable if you prepare properly, but come out a little easier for this race. And with the hills, again, you'll make up a lot of it on the downhill. The finish line energy was incredible. Ah. 840 pace. That's a whole minute and five faster pace than my last marathon. Um, I had a few friends and family come out to support, so that was always good to see them. But I want to cover two things that are really, really beneficial, especially for your friends and family that come spectate and support you. The tracking app on this, super, super accurate. So I normally give my wife access to my location when I'm running these races, and she's able to track me that way. It was very aligned with the actual San Francisco Marathon app. The timing, the splits, she was able to keep track of me pretty, pretty accurately with that. And that tells me they really care about the organization of this race, the little details of it. And the second thing, in this content world we live in, if you sign up for Marathon Photos, which handled the production for all that and the media for all that for this race, they actually live update your photos. So by the time my race was over, I already had photos of me crossing the finish line, photos of me on the Golden Gate Bridge. Now for me, would I ever do it again? I never want to say never. Maybe not a true desire now because I really am trying to aim for that sub three hour marathon as I get deeper into this journey. But I think it would be a great training experience if you're into ultra marathons and trail running. It was great with the elevation gain and the uphills and the downhills. I highly recommend that. Or if you really want to see amazing, incredible views of the city, which of course you're going to see in this video, the sunrise in the morning by the Golden Gate Bridge, priceless. It was gorgeous. San Francisco is such a beautiful city despite what you hear on social media and in the news. It was a beautiful city to run through. The energy was great. The people were great. Highly recommend. And so to wrap it up, highly recommend the San Francisco Marathon. Prepare for it properly. Integrate hill training at least once a week and you should be all right to tackle this. We did a 10 week marathon training block for this and I felt more than ready. I know most like to do a little bit longer. So again, get that hill training in and get your mileage in and I'm sure you will be fine. Book a room close to the finish line and the start line. It's gonna make things a lot easier, a lot more seamless and a lot more stress free. Sign up for the marathon photo so you get your content instantly. The logistics of it go really, really well. It is a very well put together marathon in a beautiful city where you get incredible views. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please shoot me a comment like subscribe if you like this kind of content if you have ran the san francisco marathon what did you think of it maybe that's one i'll sign up for as well until next time y'all 